Well, hey guys, welcome again to Canadian Quarters Review. I'm Mark. Today we're at Valley Motorsports in Kelowna, BC, Canada, and we're checking out this 2021 Kawasaki Mule SX 4x4 XC. It's a pretty cool machine, you're going to want to stick around. So this guy is going to be a 401cc air-cooled four-stroke overhead valve single piston engine. Its compression is 8.6 to 1. It is a fuel injection system. Electric start. It's got a two-speed automatic forward and reverse transmission. The final drive is a gear se selectable. Let's try that again. The final drive is a gear selectable two and four-wheel drive dual mode differential. So this guy is going to have a ladder type tubular steel frame. The front suspension is an independent McPherson strut, 78 millimeter or 3.1 inches of wheel travel. The rear suspension is a unit swing axle with 79 millimeters or 3.1 inches of travel. It's got a rack and pinion steering and your front tires are going to be 26 by 9 by 12s and your rear tires are the same size 26 by 9 by 12. Both the front and rear tires are the same size 26 by 9 by 12s and they're Duro, Duro front tiers. Your front brakes are dual hydraulic drums and your rear brakes are dual hydraulic drums and your parking brake is a mechanical on the rear wheels. So once again with this particular unit you're not going to have the articulation in the suspension as you would uh, with other machines like a Honda Pioneer or Yamaha Wolverine or uh, Viking so you can take this out on the trail to go hunting and stuff like that just don't expect it to conquer some major feats it just isn't designed to do that kind of stuff but it will get you out on the trail so your dimensions on this guy are 2,710 millimeters long, 1,335 millimeters wide, 1,865 millimeters high. Your wheelbase is 1,708, 1,780 millimeters or 70 inches. Your road clearance is 190 millimeters or 7.5 inches. Your seat height is 840 millimeters or 33.1 inches. Your curb mass is 491 kilograms or 1,082 pounds. Your fuel capacity is 16 liters. And your turning radius is 3.6 meters or 11.8 feet. Your cargo bed dimensions are 905 millimeters long, 1,040 millimeters wide, 245 millimeters high. So that goes out to 35 inches by 40 inches by 9.6 inches. Your cargo bed capacity is 181 kilograms or 400 pounds. Seating capacity for two. Your vehicle load capacity is 408 kilograms or 899 pounds. I don't know why they couldn't make it an even 900. Your towing capacity is 500 kilograms or 1100 pounds. You got two halogen lights on the front. And your instrumentation is a digital fuel gauge and hour meter. It's a very simplistic machine. And again, the typical Kawasaki warranty of 36 months. And then between the seat here and the back box is the clamp. To undo it, There's no uh, shock or anything on this, so it will come down on you if you don't brace it. But here's what the back engine looks like. Back engine, like there's the front one. I'm not sure why the specs said that it had halogen lights on the front, but these are actually LEDs, so that's good. You do have space to put in a winch. The 
you wanted to. And here's your rear differential lock. You got some some dummy lights as they're called. There's your hour meter and your fuel gauge. Well, I thought there might be some storage down there, but not really. Massive storage space in the front. That's awesome. So once again, this is a nice little workhorse from Kawasaki for the farm or maybe light duty agricultural. But you even got a plastic box liner from Kawasaki in there, which is pretty cool. It is a metal box. Simplistic opening tailgate. Oops. Wrong button. Cool. It's got some half decent aggressive tires on there, so that'll be good for turf and a bit of gravel and stuff for sure. Lots of legroom. Could possibly fit a third person in the middle if you're going a very short distance. There is no seat belt, mind you. Don't necessarily recommend that, but if you had to squeeze one in, there's your glove box. You have some cup holders on either side, 12 volt power supply, your light switch, fully automatic. So if you can drive a car, you can drive one of these. There's your four wheel drive and two wheel drive switch. Well guys, this about wraps up yet another episode of Canadian Quarters Review. This is a 2021 Kawasaki Mule SX 4x4 XC. It's a nice little workhorse. A little small in size, but hey, for a small jobs around the farm or something, this would be a perfect, perfect vehicle. It is a Kawasaki made, so you know the quality is there. It's gonna last you a long time. Just keep up your maintenance. This thing is gonna last you forever. So if it interests you, come down to Valley Motorsports in Kelowna, BC, Canada. Tell them that Canadian Quarters Review sent you. They'll take excellent care, with, care of you. Jeremy is an awesome guy very easy to deal with and uh, definitely a very knowledgeable as well if you guys are interested in podcasts you can check out mine called the history of things I'll take random things like last time was the history of coffee or I've done the history of the ATV done the history of basketball history of the vacuum cleaner there's about five episodes up there now that for people to listen to and you'll find it on Spotify Google and Apple podcast as well as many others so thanks again guys for your support. Hit that like and subscribe button right now please. Can you do me that favor? I really would like to reach 500 subscribers and I'm so close. So if you could help me reach my goal that'd be super appreciated and it's free. If you do have the means to, this is a free service that I provide for the dealerships and I don't make any money with YouTube either. But if you could afford maybe a $2 donation or something, I do have a link for that in the description below any or all of your support is definitely much appreciated this channel would not be where it is today without you guys so thank you so much and we'll catch you guys on the next episode